Hey, how y'all doing? We're back with a brand new game at this time. It's an oldie. It's a classic. It hasn't aged particularly well uh, gameplay-wise, but it's still one of my favorites. A very well-written series that uh, apparently there's a remake in the works, and I'm excited about it. It's Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. We're not playing Blood Omen because Blood Omen is really not an enjoyable game to play. Uh, Blood Omen 2 doesn't exist. And we might as well start with uh, the game that kind of brings the franchise. This is the game that really brought the franchise to people's like awareness. Like This is the one that stood out because of its writing, uh, its gameplay, uh, its, its level design. All of that stuff that Blood Omen 1 didn't really have. Blood Omen 1 had good writing, but it was just it was surrounded by a really bad game. And then this came out, and people liked it, and that's when people really got into Legacy of Kane. Kane is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Razio, firstborn of his lieutenants. I have served Cain a millennium. The gift continued to evolve. We became less human and more divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. There was only one possible outcome. My eternal damnation. was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the lake of the dead. Cast him in. Rest in peace, Tony J. I know you, Raziel. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. 
I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to read their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul reaver, my angel of death. So this is Soul Reaver. Um, I'm glad y'all are are here because this is sincerely one of my favorite games. Um, I'm actually playing on a DualShock 4. And, uh, it actually feels a little bit better, uh, because I can use the jo joystick to move instead of the D-pad, because originally it was, a uh, the D-pad was originally the way to, to move them, and it's just, it's not, it doesn't feel good. Hey, Terry, how you doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great day. Yeah, we did. It's, uh, there's only, like, an hour left, it turns out. It's like a three-hour game. So, there's, like, there's only one area that I'm nervous about uh, because it's a lot of precision platforming and unfortunately one of this game's weakest points is its platforming. It's not as bad as Shadow Man. These gates twist space, laying a path across great spans. So this is a teleporter. We're coming we'll come across a bunch of them. We don't have any new locations open yet, so we can't use it. Yeah, so what's great about this is that it doesn't use Xbox in inputs. It doesn't use PlayStation inputs. It uses, like, old-school computer inputs. Remember buttons one, two, three? Yeah. So I don't remember. So, yes. So circle works like that. Uh, triangle, we don't have anything. Okay, yeah, so holding down the triggers gives us a kind of a look-see view, but that's going to become important later on. Uh, we have a basic attack, three-hit combo. That's all we have so far. We got to jump. We can glide. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. Yeah. Um, one of the more, uh, infamous examples is Turok. Turok being a first-person shooter on the Nintendo 64, already a hard sell, uh, made harder by the fact that a lot of the game is about platforming over, uh, death pits. Okay, so two is X. Also, the triggers move the... Alright, so... 5 is L1. We gotta remember that. I keep trying to move with the R stick, but Your it's not working. The ruined are not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. Yeah, so we can glide.
Uh, let's see. I mean, these are... It, it, it's we can rebind them, but it's using a uh, compute oh, like Gravis Pad. It's using like Gravis Pad input uh, markers, right? So even if I were to redo all these, it would be uh, just corresponding to whatever button number that uh, that it was assigned. So I can't really do a whole lot. But I, I, for the most part, I believe it defaults to uh, the same same setup that you would have on the PlayStation 1. So select gives us all of our special powers. What scabrous wretches are these? <sighs> the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls. Spirits who now shall never find their rest. I mean, that's also Final Fantasy VIII, so... So, R1 is to, uh... Lock on. Come here, you jerk. There we go. Might be easier if I just run at him. There we go. Actually, let me see if I can just uh, change the... Because I don't like the camera. And right... There we go. Left. And... Okay, so actually, uh... Oh, I fucked up the, uh... Jump button. There we go. So I've rebound the camera to the bumpers, and then R2 is to sneak and do a high jump. Hey, like, look, my ruling here is you're all, you don't have to like everything I like, and I don't have to like everything everybody else likes. It's, it's totally fine to have, like, you know, a game you like that other people don't, and, you know, vice versa. I don't like Final Fantasy VIII. There are a few people I know who do. And that's totally fair to them. I personally really hate that game a lot. These portals are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. So, what that means is, at these nexus points, we can actually go into the real world. But we can only do so if our meter at the bottom right is fully filled and glowing. Um, when we're in the real world, things will change, like, uh, distort or, you know, uh, have a, a different... We're, we're gonna come back for this at some point, because there's, apparently there's a, there's something up there, but we can't get up there just yet. So let's, uh... Okay, so one is square. So as I said... in your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed, or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. I don't think we can climb this yet. Yeah, we need a we need an ability to climb that. So someone remem remind me when we get the climbing ability to come back to the starting area. 
I mean, Final Fantasy VII, I think, is a good game, but overrated. Not yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. So, if we jump in the water here, we die, but we go back to the spirit world. Um, but in the spirit world, water doesn't, isn't, doesn't exist. So you'll notice there's some differences between the living world and the spirit world. They are the children of your brother, Duma. That's impossible. These foul, scuttling beasts could not be king of our high blood. Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. All right, that's a big pool of water, but we got wings. I knew my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. Okay, so now L2 is to lock on. Okay, so triangle is four. Damn it. Okay, so it's a little touchy. Oh yeah. Unfettered from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. <laughs> I don't know why it's letting go so quickly. There we go. Where's that soul? There it is. Come here, you. Alright, down there is an item that we want eventually. I think that increases our health. Yeah, I rebound it to the to what I think is pretty good. So this game kind of has one thing. It's your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. So this is kind of one of the more notorious parts of this game. Is it's from a time when uh, block puzzles were a big thing. So this game's got a lot of block puzzles. A lot of block buttons. Actually, I could have taken one of those torches. The sanctuary of the clans reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgon, the seat of Cain's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold.
go. So neat thing about this, if we if we impale him, but then we pick up the uh, but we pick up the weapon first, I believe they res they reset, and you have to kill them again. All right, we'll be back here later. We need to go get, I think, uh, oh, what's his name? Mole Starts with an M. We gotta kill our first brother in order to uh, get the power to go through there. We're gonna keep this weapon with us because this weapon is very handy. It also has a bit of stealth to it. You can sneak up on enemies and insta-kill them. We're not going to use it that much. We really aren't. It does... The, I don't feel like there are a lot of opportunities to actually use that. So here is a warp room. We're going to unlock this, which gives us access to... Uh, the ability to warp between this area and the Elder, Elder Gods area. And now that that is unlocked, we can move on. No, this... I mean, this still feels janky. Even even being able to play it with a joystick, it still has a bit of jank to it. There's only one jump that's that. You don't have to hold down the jump button. Uh, it will automatically uh, jump that, that far every time. You can do it kind of a small hop uh, if you jump from a s from a standing position, but if you're moving at all, you do a really big leap, and that can be kind of troublesome. So, funny thing about the intro is how it, it presented the um, the Soul Falls. If you remember. Scott's landscape had changed. These cliffs gave me their bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. But if you remember the intro, this area was much bigger, and the expanse between these two platforms was huge. But, uh, in order for us to actually be able to cross it, they had to uh, make the area small. Also, little things to, to notice here. You can see where the textures end. There's very obvious, like, uh, lines where the, the textures end. Like, right over there, you can, you can very clearly see the lines. But, uh, that's enough goofing around. Let's head over to first area where we'll go through Raziel's territory and then we'll go to the first brother. I think it's Melchior. Soul draining is very uh, generous. You saw how much health we had uh, lost and just how much we got back from that one one soul. So now we're in Raziel's territory. That's its clan symbol. Enemies can also dodge your attacks, so you gotta watch out for that. I am garbage at dodging. You'll notice that very quickly.
You can also get other kinds of stabs, but that one's not sharp on the right end. You can still impale enemies with it, but it looks weird. And you're just shoving this blunt object into the enemy, and it's killing them. It's like, eh. Okay. Utter desolation. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from a boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. So, they try to give you lots of stuff in every area. That shield right there has a spike in it, so you can impale enemies. Every arena is designed in such a way where you can dispatch the enemies. That was a good dodge. You can also throw items too. Tapping one of the camera buttons automatically uh, centers the camera behind you. So here's the teleporter for Raziel's territory. I don't often make use of them. At least in any of the playthroughs I remember. So Raziel's area has now been unlocked. I will admit it does feel a lot better to play with the joystick than it does with the D-pad. God, I do not miss the days of the D-pad being your one source of control. Maybe in like 2D platformers, sure. But in games like this, absolutely not. You also can't pick up items while you're doing a combo. Oh. Let's So down there's a uh, water Can't go that way yet Lunge attack does a lot of damage, but it seems like some enemies have uh, different like health values. Guy over there, that way. Can we sneak up to this guy? Nope. Oh, there he goes. What's he doing? Why are you running away from me? There we go. There it is. We're going to attempt a sneak. I don't know if I could just throw it into him and kill him instantly, but I know if I get up behind him, I can just shove it into him. Camera? Camera? Cam camera? What are you doing? There we go. Oh. 
And then, of course, there is a little bit of teleportation involved. Take this with us. We can also use these uh, vases as weapons, but they're not entirely great. You know what's really great about this game? Is that it gives you the button prompt. Even though we can't read it, it's unlike uh, another game we played from the same era, uh, Shadow Man, which gave you no button prompt. So you had to guess whether or not something was something you could interact with. Man, Shadow Man fucking sucks. Just playing, like, how, how, we've only been playing like half an hour of this game, and it already reminds me of how much I fucking hate Shadow Man. Like, just how much better of a game this is than Shadow Man. In terms of, you know, control, world design, enemy design. No, please. I didn't recognize these flayed racks of flesh. Their scent was vampiric. They gnawed upon their victim's carcass like dogs. So these are the remnants of Raz. These, I believe, these are the remnants of Raziel's clan. Oh, these hit hard. All right. Got to be careful about that. Excuse me, I'm trying to eat. Yum. I love that giant hit. It's so nice. Ah, trading blows. Oh god, yeah. Tony J. Tony J was a fucking treasure and it's absolutely a shame that he passed away. Cuz one we lost a fantastic voice actor and number two, uh any future Legacy of Kane games will lack his voice acting. Because he is the Elder God. That's the end of it. Like, I'm not going to hear... I can't hear anybody else doing it. Humans are no pretty easy to kill, apparently. I don't remember there being a human that we actually interacted with in this, but there we go. We'll probably play Soul Reaver 2 as well. It's not as this good. This charnel house bore the unmistakable marks of Melchiah's clan. Melchiah. To what depths had our dynasty plummeted if these ghouls were the descendants of my high-born brother? Were they so debased as to recruit fledglings from the desiccated corpses here interred? Okay, so no. Those weird big, like... The big dudes that we fought before, those were Raziel's. Uh, now we're in Melchia's territory. Oh, uh, these dudes are annoying. Because they can burrow. Yes, we. I know. Okay. Oops. Careful, claws. And then there's this neat staff. Okay. All right, so we got to pull this. It's calls to mind Tomb Raider. We can also flip them, but we don't need to do that right now. Oop. This is what I mean by like the platform being kind of iffy. My brother Melchiah was made last, and therefore received the poorest portion of Cain's gift. Although immortal, his soul could not sustain the flesh which retained much of its previous human frailty. This weakness, it seemed, was passed on to his offspring. Their fragile skins barely contained the underlying decay. Yeah, I prefer games that let you move blocks in multiple directions versus ones where you have to, like, 
you have to get around to the other side to move it. This game is very nice about its puzzles. Who's that? Here's something. These guys don't hurt at all. Now, we don't have the same... All the same things as uh, vampires. We only retain some of their... Uh, some of their weaknesses. We can, we can go into sunlight. The vampires cannot. Whoop. Okay, so that's where we came in. So this is where we this is where we came in. So we do need to go up this way. Even when I get lost in this, uh, it's still the level the level design's still somehow better than all of Shadow Man. Like I still have a better understanding of where I am at and where I'm going compared to that. So this is uh, Micaiah's teleport point. What? I'm getting looks. Largely because, like, the rooms are different. Unlike Shadow Man, where, like, everything seems to be the same, uh, there's lots of different rooms in this game. I wasn't expecting that second swing. This is going to be a good playthrough, I think. Again, there's only, like, one area I'm really concerned about. Uh, and I think the cat- the brother's name is Rahab? Ah! Uh, oh my god, I completely un- I was supposed to fail that. I fucked that jump up so bad, and this game forgave me. It shouldn't have. They touched the water. Oh! Okay! Yeah, suck on water, dipshit. There. Fucking nerd. Yeah, I don't know how I how I un overcame that. Like I absolutely should have ate shit there, uh, but I didn't. But Rahab uh, area is w a water water filled and lots of jumping. Uh, so I'm not looking forward to that. Yep. Like I said, see this, uh, those prongs there? So every er, every area is designed to give you at least one of three possible ways to kill an enemy permanently. Uh, if you beat them up and they're bloody, they'll just bounce back and fight you again. When they're bloody, you either got to pick them up and toss them into the spikes, water, or... Spikes, water, or sunlight. Uh, one of those three and uh, methods makes the soul release. Then you have to devour the soul, because if you don't devour the soul, the enemy will come back. Yeah, basically Raziel's just a, a more edgy Kirby. Also, hey LZ, how you doing? Appreciate you being here for having a great day.
Okay, so I remember this room. So this is where we're gonna lose our our fancy little uh, spike here. We've got to. So see how the world changes. Where yes, I know. Here. These wraiths are vampire spirits fettered too long in the spectral realm. When their vampire natures adapt to this plane, they become eaters of souls. Do not allow these spirits to re-inhabit their corpses. Alright, so these dudes are a little tricky. So the act of, tra of, of moving into the spectral realm does take some spectral energy away from you. So you do, so it's basically kind of forces you to find more energy. So this room I remember being kind of a pain in the butt. Okay day is better than a bad day. So then we do this, and boink. So flipping boxes becomes kind of important in a, a few of the puzzles. We shove that box in there, and that unlocks this. Now, let's head down here. Okay, this is bad because I don't have... There it is. Okay, see how that enemy came back to life because I removed the... I removed the... staff from its body. That's what'll happen if we don't suck out the soul. Look at that. Now, the reason why we had to come down here is because um, we don't have. All right, we have to. We have to open up a door. I think yeah, because that that needs a block. Where is it? Where are the blocks? Supposed to be a block nearby. Where did it go? Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm missing some. There it is. So, this puzzle's a little bit different. Uh, so, instead of us being able to just flip this over onto there, the game wants us to do something a little different. I don't think it's as intuitive. Alright, so doing that brings this guy back to life.
bring anybody else back there is one more dirt pile and I think that's one more enemy or is that ashes I forget yep there it is saw him pop sure why I threw it. So you can also push it by just uh, tapping the square button. Which can be a little bit faster, I think. So we had to get it down here into the pit. That game. There we go. And then flip it up. Quick. I think actually I didn't need to come down here. My brain's telling me I didn't. But uh, that's that works just in case we fuck this part up. So it's kind of it, in a way it's important. Yes. Okay, so this part's a little tricky. Oh, that's why we had to do it. We had to land on this first, then we solve the puzzle, then we come back here, okay? The reason why we did that was that, get that platform up. I'm picking up what this game's putting down. Come on, soul. There it is. Come here. The vacuum effect isn't exactly the best. So while you're in uh, the spirit realm, your health, you know, stays where it's at. In the regular world, your health actually depletes over time. See, it fucked it up. Uh, this jump is annoying. This is one of my least favorite jumps in the game. Only because if you mess it up, you have to do this part all over again. And it's just... Thought I got it. There we go. Yeah. sucks. Now, I thought the souls could go through solid objects, but I'm wrong.
Alright, well, you know what? It's time as any to call it, so I want to thank you all so much for coming by and watching. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Later.